Now that you have an understanding of the environment you're working in within Wikispaces and on a wiki page, let's try creating a new page and using the basic editing tools. To do this, you'll just need to go over here to New Page and click on New Page. When this happens, you're allowed to create a new page name and for the purposes of this training we'll make just a page for ourselves and and we'll start with our name. Wikispaces really likes it when you use what's called the camel naming convention as well. That means there's no spaces and for instance with the name of a person I would have the capitalized first letter and capitalized first letter of the last name. Since this is going to be a member page, I'm going to add tags, and the tags helps help us organize content within a wiki. If I add the tag member and hit enter, it's going to be associated with other members' pages. And the organizer of this particular wiki has set down here member pages to show up underneath this section in the navigation. These are pages that have this tag associated with them. So if I hit create, it'll open up my new page and it'll automatically open the editor. The editor bar is really important because it has all of the tools that we need to format our content. If you don't see this, you should check with your particular browser and make sure the settings are right to show the visual editor within Wikispaces. When this pops up, now I can begin entering content into my page. It starts with type the content of your page here. So we can highlight that and start typing over it. I can just type anything I want. So I'm going to have a general message here. Hello world, this is my first wiki page. To edit this and make it a little bit more interesting, we can use some of the formatting features on this editor bar. It works very much like a word processor in the fact that I can highlight words and change their appearance using some of the basic settings up here. These basic settings include very familiar items such as bold, italics, underline and for those of you who are used to working with Word or perhaps some web page editing tools you'll see this drop down list here that says normal. If you drop this down you can get different size headings and then normal text. This is really handy because it's a quick way to make whole sections into a heading. When you do this and you hit return or enter and go to the next line the next line will not be a heading as well so if you want it to be a heading or bold or anything else you'll have to change it separately the other thing that's in here is a way to change the look of the text beyond bold italics and underline what I can do is highlight some text and select this little color and style button. When I do that, I can change the font, I can change the color, I can change the background color, I can change the alignment of text, and I can change the vertical positioning, which is whether or not it's subscript or superscript. I can also add a strike through feature to it. These are normal settings that we would be able to change. There's also an advanced tab. The advanced tab is for people who understand CSS. And the CSS is a style of formatting that allows you to format very specifically sections of code. Unless you're familiar with CSS, I wouldn't mess with this at all. I would stick with the basic settings. Once you've set those, you can hit Apply Settings, and now 
your text is changed to what you set it at. And it'll remain that way if you hit enter and start typing until you make other changes. For instance, if I set this next line to a heading 1, it'll stay that way. It'll be the settings that were set on this. Now I can select a given set of text and I can clear this style by hitting clear styles and it'll go back to the default. Now that you have the basic formatting, you can begin editing editing the content that you want to put in to the wiki page that you're working on. Remember, when you've edited and you're ready to save and you want these changes to be permanent, you need to remember to hit save. Once you hit save, it'll move you out of the editing mode and your page is live for everyone to view. If you don't like something that you've done, remember, all you have to do is click the edit button. So remember the basic process is edit, enter content, save.